Welcome to Lecture Online. Here's our second type of example where we need to solve equations. In this case, we have an equation that contains fractions, which means we first want to get rid of the fraction. That's always step number one. First, eliminate parentheses, fractions, and decimals. So let's go ahead and eliminate fractions. How do we do that? We must multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. Notice we have denominators 2, 5, and then 2 again. If we multiply these two together, 2 times 5, that gives us 10. And notice that all three denominators evenly fit into 10, which means that's our lowest common denominator. We simply multiplied all the factors that appeared in the denominators. That means we can multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. In this case, that would be 10. And that will eliminate the fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 10 times x over 2 times 3x over 5, and times a negative 1 half. The way to do that is to tell yourself the following. 2 goes into 10 5 times, which means it's the same as 5 times x. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then we have 5 times x, which gives us 5x. 5 goes into 10 twice. 2 times 3x gives me 6x. And again, 2 goes into 10 5 times. 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5. Notice I've eliminated the fractions by multiplying the left side by 10, but I must also multiply the right side by 10. Again, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do exactly the same to the other side of the equation. Here we're going to multiply 10 times 3 and 10 times x. 10 times 3 is 30, plus 10 times x is 10x. Now we're ready to move on to step 2. We want to move all the terms with variables to the left side and all the numbers to the right side. Remember, whenever we cross the equal sign, we must change the sign. The 10x goes to the left, and the minus 5 goes to the right. On the left side, we end up with 5x plus 6x. They're already on that side. If we move the 10x to the left side, that becomes a minus 10x equals 30. When we move the negative 5 to the right side, it becomes a positive 5. Now we can combine like terms. On the left side, we have 5 plus 6 is 11, minus 10, which is simply a 1x equals 30 plus 5, which is 35. We don't have to go to step 4 because we already have the solution of the equation. When x equals 35, the left side equals the right side. And that's how it's done.